hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video on this video i am doing a nest and prepare with me for baby twinkle if you don't know already i'm expecting my second baby and i'm super excited to be preparing for her simply because i did not get this opportunity with my first child as she was born prematurely but i will get into that story a little bit later on right now i am preparing or rather making our bed so that i can be able to put baby twinkles items on the bed so that i can organize while sitting down on a very clean and organized bed I don't know if you guys can tell but I am running out of breath from just making this bed and now I'm going to try to put this pregnancy pillow into its cover and let me tell you already I felt decimally at it it's so difficult to get this pillow back into its cover so I ended up giving up and having to wait for my partner to come and do it for me which took him days to do it because men never get to the task when you ask them to do it. Now that I have given up on the pregnancy pillow, I'm gonna use this vanilla scented room spray that I got from Sheet Street. It smells really, really amazing, and I think you guys should try it out. Now I am unpacking Baby Twinkle's clothes because I went to wash and put them in fabric softener before I can pack them away in my chest of drawer. I'm gonna be doing this with all her clothes, her blankets, swaddles, and some of her socks and beeps basically everything that is for baby except for toiletries will definitely be washed and air dried before i can pack them away in their respective areas so right now i'm going to get into my labor story with my first child i was around 28 weeks going into my 29th week when i went into preterm labor and the reason i went into preterm labor is because i had a vaginal infection i am not sure how i got the infection but my doctor suspected that i had gotten it from using public toilets so he gave me some antibiotics and some probiotics multivitamins and painkillers to try and manage the infection because i was graduating on the wednesday and had gone to my doctor on a tuesday but i did not tell anyone in my family simply because i didn't want to scare anyone and i just wanted to enjoy my graduation day 
I did go and graduate, had a good time with my family, had a lunch afterwards, went to bed and was all nice and well. And I thought that the pain was gone and the infection was done with. But on Thursday morning when I woke up, I was bleeding. Not so much, but I knew that it was alarming to be bleeding in that at that stage in my pregnancy. But I still decided to keep quiet and said to myself, I'll give it a few hours. If it doesn't stop, then I will tell my mom because she was still around. Um, unfortunately, around 9 a.m., I got into, I got started getting really serious contractions, and my siblings had to like leave work and drive me to the doctor. As soon as my doctor laid eyes on me, he said, "You are definitely in preterm labor, and you need to go to hospital right now." So he wrote me a referral letter, and I was rushed to Steve Biko Academic Hospital in Tuane. And when we got there, I got admitted. The nurse were very friendly and they were very helpful and they tried to calm me down. But I was just panicked because I knew that I couldn't be giving birth now. It's too soon. And they did try to stop the contractions. But when the doctor came and did um, some tests and they did a, a sonogram, they realized that I had what is called a placenta abrupta, basically meaning that my baby and the placenta to have separated day off it is dangerous to for my life and for hers for my baby to stay in my belly so they had to do an emergency c-section i had my c-section i was scheduled to have my c-section around four not scheduled but there was someone in theater so i had to wait for that person to be out of theater so during the time where i was waiting they were just trying to make me feel comfortable and be relaxed and i had my cesarean and i had my baby at 28 weeks she was weighing 1.2 kg and she stayed in NICU for a duration of six weeks it was a very tough and depressing time so it just really taint tainted my idea of pregnancy and postpartum but i'm glad that i am pregnant again and hopefully this time it'll turn out differently so far so good um as i record this video i am 27 weeks so this week i'm quite anxious because i'm just every time i feel like an ache or a pain i just feel like oh my gosh i'm going to preterm labor again but god forbid this time i'm gonna go into full term so that is what happened This is a few days later. I had to lay by these clothes at Ackermans and I finally got them out. So I'll be doing the same process of unpacking, renting, and wa washing and renting, air drying before I pack them away. I got a few items. I got myself some nursing bras for the very first time. And trying to open it was a little struggle, but I will learn.
these onesies or rumbas i'm going to hang them in little close closet because in my closet it's kind of full so i'm gonna put these ones with the rest of her rumbas in little close closet moving on to the chest of drawers so this is how i have packed it so far um i i switched here these are have heaviest also heaviest and i just put this here because i don't know where to put them i'm probably gonna put more clothes in here but i'm waiting for summer to come so that i can buy her summer friendly clothes in here it's her babes um and those are beanies these are socks i'll be adding more socks and more beanies actually i'll be adding everything else i'll be adding more of everything because as you can see there's not enough beeps there's not enough um socks not enough beanies and i've just put my postpartum things in here i'll obviously take them out when i'm preparing my hospital bag and i'll put more of these things in here in here i'm putting um bath towels actually these bath towels were little those bath towels this is baby's new one i'm gonna get another one so she has four and then have two new blankets this one was from little Tla as well so it's a hand down also this one is from little Tla as well so having kids three years apart was a plan and then in here is just malicious things that i will not show you guys i still need to organize that here it's my stuff i need to take it out and i'm planning on putting an epic kitty somewhere here but i don't want an epic kitty because this is actually my room not baby's room so i'm probably gonna just get a nice storage box and put it here and i saw something that i really liked at um deals so i'm gonna try and get that and put it here this is the cut little storage so i've put um baby's big blanket and a towel and i put this set of bags in here so this way they're just gonna sit because what else am i gonna put in here i still need to buy some bedding i haven't seen one that i really like so i'm, I'm go because i'm going for more gray and white bedding so now i just have the fitted sheet and this pillow with the very with just a white um pillow cover and the bathtub as you guys saw and i got this um 3d decor art stickers from pep are they not gorgeous i was thinking i was gonna add more but i think that's enough because this is still my master room so that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching until this far please don't forget to subscribe like and comment and i'll see you guys in my next video